So a couple weeks ago, my wife came to me with the idea that she thought we needed to get a new bed for my son. My son doesn't live here. He lives out of state, and he's only home like maybe about a month or so a year. But for some reason, we needed to get him a new bed. The one he had was uh, didn't have a headboard, didn't have a footboard, and it was ugly. So I resisted. I held my ground, told her I thought what we had was perfectly fine. So now fast forward a couple weeks later, and of course, we ended up getting two new beds. So my son's got a new bed, and we've got a new one in the spare room. Anyway, so now I've got, uh, I've got these bed frames. And I don't know, over the years, I've thrown away a ton of bed frames, flipping houses. Seems like they always, a lot of times they get left behind. And then I just always toss them in the landfill. But I decided this time, I'm gonna make something useful out of these things. And so I've got two frames. This is all inch and a half, uh, inch and a half angle iron, uh, probably eighth inch stuff. Um, the cross braces, I think like inch and a quarter, maybe something like that. But um, so what I'm gonna do is, you know, this is all just has these little kind of rivet stud things that, that hold the legs on. So I'm gonna first go and, and knock off the wheels and get this stuff, you know, down to basically, um, kind of clean angle iron. What I'm gonna do with these things, is I have this absolute disaster over here, and I've got a disaster everywhere because my shop's always a mess, but this corner is cluttered up with mostly uh, um, hardware, screws, nuts, bolts, that kind of stuff, a bunch of odds and ends stuff. I've got tons of, uh, you know, different kind of lubricants and paint cans and things like that up there. And I want to make better use of the space over here and try to get this a little bit cleaned up and a little bit more organized because I, I have a heck of a time. I mean, I've got, you know, coffee cans with stuff in them and just buckets and whatever laying all over the place. These cabinets are full of other hardware too, but I've got too much stuff. So I've got, I've got this space here that I think I'm going to utilize. And then I also have my little kind of little service closet that I have back here where my uh, radiant floor system and obviously my air compressor and then I always tuck my welder back in here. I've got open walls in here too, as you can see, that I might try to make use of this space back here too. So I'm gonna take these old bed frames and we're gonna turn them into some shelving that will help get my life a little bit more organized. So I knocked the studs off. What I've got so far is I've got four sections of, uh, those are about six foot each. Uh, these are, these two pieces are 32 inches. So that's all inch and a half. And then I went ahead and did a couple of these inch and a quarter pieces. Um, you know, I've got whatever random links there. So I still have some bits over here that I can clean up if I, if I decide to. A lot of it's got slots and stuff in it, so I may or may not. But anyway, this will be enough for me to get these shells built. So now I just have to figure out how I want to lay it out. All right, so I got my pieces all cut. Um, this is gonna be one shelf, this is gonna be another shelf. I can, I've been working, as you can see, and getting all the paint ground off of here. These shelves are gonna be six and a half inches wide. Now I just need to get it all mocked up. And I can put, start, oops, I can start putting some tacks on it.
All right, guys, so threw a little bit of black paint on this thing last night just to cover up the exposed metal. And I dug through and I got, you know, that's why I keep hardware around. I've got some random quarter inch lags that I'm going to use to put this up here. And I've already pre drilled. All right. I'm floating right over the, right over that outlet plate, but with my eighth inch kind of reveal off this uh, back piece of angle, actually it fits over that perfectly, so it's good. So I measured this out, obviously I, I set the length based on where I had studs in the wall so I could easily hang it. A couple things that I did here, so I spaced it so I could take these five pound boxes and put those right underneath there. So I've got loads of five pound boxes of screws, so those can slide right underneath. They'll also, if I want, they'll sit right in those slats. Maybe over here so you can see a little better, but that spacing is just perfect for those. And I mentioned before how I have all of these coffee cans. These coffee cans will just fit right in there too. So I did cut some quarter inch plywood. I had a scrap of that laying around there, which I think I'll go ahead and throw up in here. For a shelf base, actually just a regular, just a regular box of screws will sit in there too, but there's some slop in there and I don't want those to fall through. So depending on what I want, want to put up there, having a quarter inch bottom in there will be good, but this is going to work good. This is going to get me a lot of, in a pretty confined space here, it's going to get me a lot of extra storage. So now I just need to get all my, not all my, but some of my hardware a little bit organized and this, uh, this bed frame transformation is going to work out great. Well, there you go. I've got a long ways to go in my ongoing battle of organizing the shop, but that is a big improvement. Got all my, you know, lubes and degreasers and stuff like that down here where they're more reachable. Got stuff divided up, nuts, washers, bolts, lags, uh, kind of miscellaneous, um, other kind of hardware, car, you know, stuff for um, little connectors for, uh, for working on cars and just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. So anyway, and these drawers are screws, nails, those are full too. And there's more underneath. I've got too much hardware. <laughs> <laughs> so I should probably throw some stuff away and that would help, but I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next video.